I thought we'd play a teenage drinking game. So, it's got Never Have I Ever. Have you ever played that before? Yeah. It's one of those classic teenage drinking games where if you've done the you thing, have you, have a, shot, you have a yeah. shot. I'll, I'll play as well. Never Have I Ever attended an orgy. Whoa. Prue's gone. Whoa. Prue's gone, and I'm going to go as well. And, you know, again, you're not going to believe me, but I'll tell you I'm totally innocent. <laughs> <laughs> And ne never happened. misunderstand it. No, no, listen, I'll tell you the story. <laughs> it was in Paris, and a boyfriend of mine said, let's go to this party, I, I can get us in. I thought it was an ordinary party, and so I went off with him, and I th so did he. We just thought we were going to a party. And we were let in, and I, I swear, every room you went into, there were sort of naked bottoms bouncing. <laughs> sort of wow. bumping. <laughs> I mean, like a sea of them. A sea and of bottoms bouncing. A sea of bottoms, and he was very pleased. He just disappeared in instantly, and he was off. And then I was really embarrassed, cos there I was standing fully dressed, and everybody kept coming up to me and saying, come on, you know, get them off. What are you, what are you doing? Get you know? them off. I mean, I was so conspicuous, because I had all my clothes on. <laughs> so, I <laughs> so I took them off. <laughs> just to blend in. Just, just to blend, blend in. in. Just you understand? Blend in. And I did. And I then had a much easier time of it, and I just spent the entire next couple of hours walking from the bar, pretending I wanted to drink, pretending I wanted to go to the loo, pretending I was looking for somebody, just sort of keep moving so you Prue, could... sorry, I'm going to have to spud you on this one. <laughs> 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 That's so a great never, story. So I never, ever participated in an orgy, but no. I have been to an orgy. OK, right. Yeah. I'll only ask you this once, but if we asked everybody else at the orgy whether you participated, would we get a very different story? <laughs> <laughs> Mine no, is nowhere near no. as interesting. I was an extremely shy, painfully self-conscious kid. And so we would gather in one of our houses, parents would be in the house, and then, and then go into a back room and turn the lights off, and then everybody would just... <laughs> I mean, not, not naked, but just get on the floor and just get on... <laughs> just every, and I would sit... I was like you, Prue. Uh, honestly, <laughs> I would sit it out and I would sit in the corner on my own, just never... Got even got onto the floor with all the others. I could just hear all these sort of <laughs> just little groans and grunts and things and stuff. Like that. And then after about three hours, this would go on for, and I would just be sat there. You sat there for three hours. Sat there, and yeah, but at the end of it, we'd, <laughs> we'd put the light back on, and I'd be like, "Oh, great session, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> See you next week." Yeah. <laughs> I was just too shy, just too shy to join in. I wouldn't call that shy, Rods. Three hours <laughs> in the corner of the laundry. There's a name for that, Rod. Yeah. It wasn't bouncing. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there. <laughs> Every week I go to an orgy, I was very shy. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Chris, what was young Chris McCausen obsessed with? Probably SNES, mate. SNES stands for Super Nintendo. Super Nintendo Entertainment System, I think Entertainment it is. Entertainment yeah. System. It was the first console I owned. We got a picture of it here, because this means nothing to me, I have to say. I mean, only through this show have I... No, they were amazing. Yeah, I, I was no a Sega guy, play. though. Wow. You see, yeah. Melvin was saying he was more of a Sega guy. Honestly, mate, SNES versus Sega, it was like Catholic versus Protestant, mate. <laughs> 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 You used to have marches and everything. <laughs> um, Tell me about the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Well, the Super system. Nintendo Entertainment System was, uh, it was a cartridge uh, console. Um, the games were um, about £45 each, which was a lot of money when oh, you were kind right. of... I can see where this is going, I think. <laughs> He's steal them. Yeah, yeah I guess we were, that's we... where this is going. They were £45, so... Right, basically, what happens, right? <laughs> is uh, we bought this machine. There was this machine called a... It was called a Pro Fighter. And what you could do <laughs> is you could put a cartridge in it, put a disc in it, copy the game onto the disc in it. You could basically load games onto the SNES through from these discs. So I had every single game that had ever been released oh. on the SNES. And once we bought this machine, then what had happened is... Um, <laughs> you, you, it's kind of like it's kind of like having a dealer, right? Yeah. Is you, there'd be like a fella that you buy games off, and he'd come round, right? And <laughs> this is, I must have been about fourteen, fifteen at the time. And this bloke would come round, and he was like twenty-eight, <laughs> which is <laughs> double my age, right? He'd knock on the door, my mum would answer, and you'd go, "Who's Chris?" In? Like that, <laughs> and she'd go, "He's upstairs in his bedroom." Go up, and she'd send a grown man up to me. <laughs> <laughs> that is insane, right?